What's up everybody, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be checking out Elementary OS. And real quickly before I get into uh, the video, I'd like to give a shout out to a channel by the name of QuickBits. I have been in touch with the creator of the channel, and he has made quite a few tutorials on Windows and Linux operating systems. And they are quite cool. He has made videos that uh, talk about how to change the DNS server settings on Microsoft Windows. He's made videos on Linux terminal commands. And he's made videos on VirtualBox and many other forms of software. So if you think that that would be an interesting thing to check out, then go over to uh, the QuickBits YouTube channel. That will be linked in the description down below. Okay, now back to elementary OS. So, oh look, I have some notifications there. I didn't realize that. Um, elementary OS is a very interesting Linux operating system, I'd say. Um, it, it reminds me a lot of Mac OS, um, and that is probably a given just because of the types of graphic design that they do. Uh, it's not necessarily um, supposed to be like Mac OS, but it has ended up being a little bit like Mac OS. So it's got the Epiphany web browser for default. Um, I'm not really a fan of Epiphany but it is a pretty decent web browser, in my opinion. Ah, uh, this calendar. Uh, what calendar is this? Is this a GNOME thing, or? I have no clue, it just says calendar. Oh well. Um, the App Center is probably the most interesting thing in elementary OS because it allows uh, the creators of applications to um, charge money for what they have made, which is something that a lot of um, people in the open source community don't like for some reason, probably because, you know what, I don't, I don't know why. Uh, that maybe they just don't like to spend money. But it it is a very interesting thing, and I think this is one of the biggest reasons why um, open source has not really, or at least Linux has not really gotten big at all. And that is because, well, the applications, you can't price them really on the actual application stores for the Linux operating systems. And I think that's a really cool thing that elementary OS is doing um, because it will get more and more developers over to Linux because, you know, a lot of developers say you can't make money on Linux. And I bet some of the reason for that is the fact that you can't price things uh, on some of the stores. So it's a pretty cool thing that... Uh, that is a thing on elementary OS. And I would say that is a um, selling point to them to try and get developers to develop for Linux. Um, another thing, I like the background, very uh, Mac OS feeling. Um, overall, this is not really a necessarily an operating system for me. I actually don't like how it looks. Um, it's just my preference. I don't necessarily even like how Mac OS looks. Um, but yeah, if you're a Mac OS fan, uh, you would love this. It seems to be fairly stable. It's very intuitive. Uh, love the design. The App Center is slow at loading. Um, <laughs> just like the Mac OS App Store. So yeah, again, if you like Mac OS, you can come to this. This is it's a pretty nice thing. There's even a search here. Pretty sure that's on the opposite side that it's on for Mac OS. Uh, another cool thing that I like is all of these are actually separate, the little widgets or whatever you call them up in the top bar here. Um, I'm not actually sure what desktop this is using. 
if it's one that's made by the elementary OS team or not. So, yeah, leave that in the comments. I didn't necessarily have time to look at it. Maybe I did, actually, and I forgot because I was planning to make this video, like, two months ago, and I never got to it. Um, but yeah, I, I also like how the music thing has a overview here. Uh, most other ones do, but it's it's really nice looking on this. Uh, there's the internet stuff here. Uh, the I actually like the uh, notifications here. And the fact that you can just hover over stuff if you click on the top. You can just hover over everything. It's pretty nice. Very Mac OS like. You can lock lock out, suspend, and shut down from this menu here. You can also go straight to the user account settings. Um, uh, the, the list of applications is in here. I don't even think, is this the whole list of applications? No, it's not. If you want to see all the applications, nope, that might have been the whole list of applications. Wow, this really doesn't come with very many applications. thought it would come with more. Uh, the terminal is a very interesting terminal. Um, maybe just the colors are different, but I don't think I've seen very many terminals with tabs. Um, maybe I'm just not paying attention. But that is also an interesting thing. The contrast on the terminal specifically is very interesting. Um, the, also the, um, uh, the transparency. I really like transparency in terminals. I do not know why. I just really like it. So that is a cool thing as well. Uh, the settings reminds me a lot of the settings in Linux Mint. Um, I think the... Let me see this. Yeah, the difference is they all seem to be in like a part of the actual settings app. In here, you can actually click on a check for updates button if for some reason you don't like to go into the uh, software store and actually just wait until it's done loading, which I like to click on the buttons first. I don't know why, just something about, I don't, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, the display settings, I'm not going to mess with those. Those are very not fun to mess with. Um, also, real quick update on these checking out Linux videos. I now have my laptop on Linux. So depending on how recording goes on my laptop, I will be doing these videos on actual hardware now. So they might actually end up being better quality. Uh, they'll still be 750p because the I will actually take the laptop down to 750p it was on 768 something like that um yeah it's an old Toshiba laptop I currently have it running with Linux Mint and it runs flawlessly almost for some reason the lock screen background does not show up but that could just be a problem with the download I don't know and it's only the lock screen background so that's interesting. It might just be some sort of glitch. It's not a problem with the hardware, I don't think. But it is nice. I did have Windows 10 on it, and that was super slow. Linux Mint is much faster. Um, and it's, it's very interesting. It's much harder to notice the speed difference um, on a fairly fast computer like what I have compared to a old laptop. And, I mean, e like computers like an old Mac OS... Uh, MacBook from 2009, you can't really notice the difference between Mac OS and Linux on that. That was an interesting thing. Um, I couldn't really notice the difference in speed between the two. Ubuntu was just a little bit faster. But uh, with it, this Toshiba laptop, Linux Mint is very fast. Um, it does have the desktop problem where it, the desktop takes a while to show up. Um, takes a while to pop into view. I do like that it pops into view, though. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool feature there. Um, but anyway, back to elementary OS. Um, so the Epiphany web browser, very nice. I did watch some videos using it earlier, uh, and it was 
pretty good, pretty fast. Not as fast as Firefox. And I have actually really come to like Firefox since I switched to Firefox from Google Chrome. Um, there's a music application, videos application. Uh, I don't know what the core applications are for these. You know what? Would I be able to figure that out in the App Center? Probably would. Let's go to install. Try and figure that out. Nope. I don't think you can. Can you? Elementary LLC. Did they make this? Did they make their own stuff? That's interesting. That is interesting. Uh, modern video player that focuses on displaying. Yeah. Wow. That is actually really nice. They do their own stuff. Inter that is interesting. Uh, that is very interesting. Uh, App Center, did they make that? I think they made the App Center too. I don't know if it's like based on another um, application. They probably are. They got GNOME fonts. Maybe maybe they're all based on the GNOME stuff. I don't know. Um, but that's that is actually pretty nice that they uh, go through and do their own stuff and at, like at all. It's pretty cool. Ooh, two updates available for GNOME Web. I guess that's uh, Epiphany. Is that Epiphany? Yeah, I think that's Epiphany. Yeah. Did they rename it or something? I don't know. Alright, so, the Epiphany web browser, like I said, pretty nice, um, looks a lot like Safari, I don't know if that's a skin, like I said, I don't use the Epiphany browser, I have not used it outside of elementary OS at all, um, that might change as I keep reviewing distributions, or not reviewing, checking out distributions, I forgot, the reviews are on a different playlist, um, and I'll probably talk about that in some sort of channel update or something where I talk about exactly what this channel is doing right now but I'll just tell you right now reviews are different than the checking out Linux series that I'm doing right now alright so this is probably I've probably gone through most of the things that I'm gonna go through in this video it looks very nice it's definitely not for me I do like the polish that has gone into this. It works very well. From what I can tell, it works very well. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice, actually. I really like it. Um, but it's not for me. Something like Linux Mint is what is more for me. Um, or Ubuntu. Ubuntu, I like. My go-tos are either Linux Mint or Ubuntu. Even though the desktop is very different on both of those, I tend to like Ubuntu. Um, and if you're a Mac user and you don't like the elementary OS graphic graphical user interface, um, then I would suggest going to Ubuntu. Um, especially if you're one of those people that use the... Um, that weird application launch menu that is in Mac OS where it looks like a touch device. If you're one of those people who, you, who like to use that all the time, I would actually highly suggest going over to Ubuntu because that is a thing that they do. That is how you launch applications in Ubuntu. Um, so if you actually use that feature in Mac OS, you would want to go to Ubuntu instead or any other operating system really that uses the GNOME desktop. Uh, I think they all have that. Some of them uh, more so than others. Uh, and by that I mean some of them use that feature by default more so than others because some of them tweak the GNOME desktop to work a different way. But from my understanding they all have that application launcher so, you know what, Photos application, this looks pretty nice. They all got the same sort of theme, the dark theme here, which I kind of like. It's very different than something like Mac OS. At the f first start up here, you're like, oh, this looks a lot like Mac OS, but the themes are a little bit different. They're not as white. 
the multitasking view is also very similar to something like Mac OS. Um, yeah, it's very similar, although in Mac OS it is a little bit different. Um, yeah, like I said, I think I got over gone over everything I need to go over in this video. Um, overall, it's a good operating system. Very polished, not very many bugs that I've come across, and um, yeah, I'm using virtual machi machines, so that stuff will be a little bit different. It's a good operating system overall, and it is something that if you are looking for a new Linux distro, you should check it out. Um, but yeah, hope you all liked the video, and I'll see you all in the next video.